With the introduction of HDL therapy, we've been able to divide HDL therapy into two types of therapy. One is acute HDL therapy, which is really targeted towards a patient with acute coronary syndrome that has a marked increased risk of cardiovascular disease because he has active uh, plaques that uh, may rupture, producing the acute coronary syndrome, and the patient with stable cardiovascular disease, uh, which we've called chronic HDL therapy. The most attractive future therapy for raising HDL for chronic therapy appears to be inhibition of the CTP uh, transfer protein. So inhibition of that protein has been associated with a significant increase in HDL, and current trials are underway, both from an imaging point of view as well as clinical trials in terms of mortality and morbidity studies to evaluate whether raising HDL with CTP inhibition will be an effective new therapy. With acute HDL therapy, which as I mentioned is really targeted towards acute coronary syndrome patient, we have A1 Milano, which is an infusion of the uh, A1 protein, which was associated with just after five infusions of significant reductions in atherosclerosis as assessed by the IVUS uh, imaging technique. And so this led to the conceptualization that a very short infusions of HDL may protect against uh, the development of cardiovascular disease events. Additional approaches uh, from that point of view have been the delipidation of HDL by a new machine developed by Lipid Sciences, which uh, is able to delipidate the HDL and then reinfuse the unloaded HDL, uh, which will increase the delivery of cholesterol from uh, the uh, plasma back into the liver, and it's very effective in removing cholesterol from the coronary artery and the foam cells that are loaded with cholesterol. A third approach to acute HDL therapy, which again would be given by intravenous infusion in the patients with very high risk, will be the development of A1 mimetic peptides, which we hope will be also be effective uh, in being able to remove cholesterol from the plaque and do it in a relatively short period of time, uh, as was done with the A1 Milano study, which it requires an infusion and would really be in those patients who have acute coronary syndrome where the risk-benefit uh, is appropriate for intravenous uh, HDL therapy.